Welcome back. It's been a while. This is a video that many people have asked for. Which Android brand, Sony or Samsung, has the better manual photo mode? Both brands pack powerful manual controls into their smartphone flagships. And in this video, we'll take a look at Sony's Photo Pro and compare it against Samsung's Pro Mode and why I think Samsung is confused. We'll be using the Xperia 1 Mark II and the Samsung S21 Ultra, but much of what I cover applies to other flagships as well, such as the Xperia 1 Mark III. This video is focused on photography, but if you'd like me to do a similar video on the manual video side of things, leave a comment below. We're gonna run through five categories and pick a winner at the end. Let's start off simple with adjusting exposure or making the image brighter or darker. Here with the Sony, you can see the drastic change in the image as we change the exposure. And most basic camera apps let us do this, but in pro mode, we can see a number value and save this value so that we can apply this to multiple images we take. Both phones have similar features here, so we're gonna call this a draw. Next, let's cover manual focus. Autofocus works well, but sometimes you wanna use manual focus for exact precision, especially with close subjects like these flowers. With the Samsung, we get this nice green border with focus peaking. It's fairly easy to nail the focus. On the other hand, with the Sony, we just have a basic slider here without any peaking, so it's a little more difficult. Samsung wins this round. Next, switching lenses. What good is a manual mode if you can't use it with the actual cameras on the back? The Samsung Pro mode works with both the ultra wide and the main wide lens, but none of the telephoto ones. I would have loved to have used Pro mode with the 10X Tele. Sony, on the other hand, supports all three of the rear cameras, including the Tele. And with the Xperia 1 Mark III, all four focal lengths support manual controls which is awesome. Sony takes this one. Now let's cover why I think Samsung is confused. There are two things. First, white balance. On many cameras and the Xperia, we have presets for common light settings, like daylight and many others that we see here. This makes it easy to switch to a setting that is appropriate for the scene. However, with the Galaxy, there are no presets and it's just an open range. This makes it much more difficult as many people don't have these presets memorized. Also in Sony's favor, you can actually set a custom preset and save that, making it much easier. Sony wins again. Now let's cover the second confusing point, shutter priority. Let's say you're out in the park and you see these flowers and you see these bees flying between the flowers and you wanna capture an image where the bees are blurred. You need to capture something with the shutter slowed down. And for that, you would use shutter priority on most cameras. For this on the Xperia, we actually have a dedicated S mode where we can change the shutter speed and we can take an image like this. With Samsung, there's no such mode. If we change the shutter speed, it messes up our exposure because the ISO doesn't change automatically, forcing us to set everything up manually. Also, to capture a moving subject like these bees, we have to be able to shoot in a burst. And that's possible with the Xperia, but it's not possible using manual controls with the Samsung. This is yet another win for Sony. Now, I could have covered more than just five categories, but I think you get the point. Sony won in most areas, except for manual focus. Many people ask me, how is Sony's manual camera experience different from these manual modes that you find on the competition? Well, as we just saw, it's more robust in many areas, from the two-stage shutter button to the fast autofocus, to controls and settings that really mimic how cameras are designed. It's in a league of its own. That doesn't mean that Galaxy phones are bad, however. I was actually quite impressed with the raw photo quality that you can get from the S21 Ultra in my last video. The smartphone camera game keeps improving rapidly, and I can't wait to see what's next. Speaking of which, my Xperia 1 Mark III pre-order should be coming very soon, so make sure you're subscribed to see my deep coverage. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.